Welcome to a MCCEE Tutoring Services video providing you with all your USMLE and Medical Council of Canada exam content needs. Check out my website in the link in the description below for more tools to help you do well on your exams. Also click the link to check out my book on statistics called Statistics Rx. It will really help with the USMLE and Canadian exams where biostatistics is concerned. Now today's video covers the Wunter antibiotic vancomycin. And you can click the links in the description below to skip ahead to the section you want or watch the entire video starting from here. So what is vancomycin? Let's start off by taking another look at some of the basic science pharmacology concepts that you hated and thought you would never have to think about again. And well, think about them again. Vancomycin is a primarily IV renally, remember both of these as they are important, excreted inhibitor of peptidoglycan synthesis. This is needed for many disease-causing bacteria to live, making vancomycin bactericidal. Vancomycin accomplishes this by stopping the D-alanine-D-alanine groups from attaching to the growing chain, but some bacteria have evolved D-alanine lactate which makes vancomycin less efficacious. So what does vancomycin not work against? Now we have reached the answer for the clickbait title I used. Gram-negative bacteria have a double cell wall, which means it is difficult to move nutrients in and out. Porin proteins help with this and are like rickety bridges or small tunnels that only allow small trucks on. Remember, vancomycin is huge and does not fit. So when do you use vancomycin? Vancomycin does have many uses, but most of them are restricted to con suspected or confirmed MRSA infections. But it is not always as effective as synthetic pen synthetic penicillins, so you should switch if cultures reveal MSSA or methicillin-sensitive staph aureus. Cases of uh, GBS where a woman is allergic to penicillin and is pregnant is another very specific case to use vancomycin. And oral vancomycin, that's right, oral, is used for moderate to severe C. difficile infection or mild cases that are refractory. Adverse effects. We now come to the critical reason why vancomycin should be used sparingly, besides just making sure not to breed vancomycin-resistant bacteria. Just like with aminoglycosides, vancomycin can cause autotoxicity and nephrotoxicity, and they can both work together to double their efforts. Another thing to remember about the nephrotoxicity, patients on dialysis do not need another dose of vancomycin for seven days as it is renally excreted. Vancomycin also causes the syndrome you all remember from your textbooks, Redman syndrome, which is just an IgE-mediated mast cell degranulation that rarely leads to angioedema. Another problem is drug fever which many antibiotics can cause, but the most serious issue is neutropenia, which can very quickly lead to death. Let's deal with a case. A 36-year-old man who is an IV drug user is diagnosed with osteomyelitis in his left arm. Due to suspected MRSA infection, he is started on vancomycin. Cultural results reveal MSSA. No signs of spinal pain or neurological symptoms are present. Which of the following treatment regimens should be followed? If you need time to think, pause the video right now. The answer is switch to nafacillin. As you remember, most of the time, vancomycin is not quite as efficacious as synthetic penicillins. Adding gentamicin, another IV antibiotic, is very toxic. Switching to revampin is not indicated in this particular case. Again, continuing with IV vancomycin can lead to toxicity and is not necessarily as efficacious. And surgical debridement is left for cases of treatment-resistant uh, osteomyelitis, among multiple other cases, such as uh, spinal abscesses. Now let's go through the summary. Vancomycin is a renally excreted antibiotic that is removed by dialysis. It works by inhibiting peptidoglycan synthesis at D-alanine-D-alanine groups. Resistance occurs 
with bacteria that use lactate instead of D-alanine. Gram-negative bacteria are inherently resistant due to the porin proteins. Vancomycin should be used when MRSA infection is suspected, allergy to penicillin in pregnant with GVS infection, moderate to severe C. difficile infection, or recurrent C. difficile infections. The route of delivery is mainly IV except for C. difficile infections, where the route is oral. Adverse effects include red man syndrome, drug fever, autotoxicity, nephrotoxicity, and neutropenia. This has been a MCC EE tutoring services video. For a link to the website, see the video description where you can learn more about what MCC EE tutoring services has to offer. Also, check out the book Statistics RX. Please like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you and have a great day.